Well guys, like I said, back out today, a bit of a hike, some coffee in the woods, so I'm just following this trail. I've just come from there, trying out my uh, new hiking sticks. Uh, and the lucky Sherpa XL. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm, not sure, I'm gonna actually take this path here, cut through over the other side of the fence and go into that part of the woods because this side here where I am now is actually a reserve, whereas that side on that side of the fence isn't a reserve, so um, it's more common ground and you can get away with having a, a little fire for a coffee and maybe something to eat. I've got a couple of sausages on me, some noodles, um, and some soup, so once we get set up we'll see what I fancy. Hello right, guys, I've done about two miles now. Um, still walking through this bit of woodlands, just following this path down here at the moment. Um, a lot more knackering than what I remember. Um, but then haven't been out for a while um, due to work and health issues. So um, feels good to be back out though. Um, obviously, like I say, trying out my new walking sticks, um, trying out my new bag as well. It's the um, Osprey Talon 44. Um, really, really comfortable. Um, more comfortable than my old bag, for sure. Not such a bushcrafty bag, but a good bag nonetheless, so far, from what I can tell. Um, there seems to be no rubbing or anything. The audio straps on it are adjustable. Um, it's got belt loop. Uh, belt strap, strap round the waist, um, even the back inside, like some of the um, army bags, you can, it's velcroed in, so you unvelcro it to adjust for different heights, for, obviously if you've got a longer back or a short back, um, so yeah, it's, uh, I think I've got it just about right, because it's like I say, it's quite comfortable, so I'm just going to keep walking down here for a bit. <coughs> a lot of horses and that come down here. Have a look at it. I uh, see a lot of hoof prints uh, and some dog walkers as well. So, yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit. So yeah, as you can see, I um, started smoking again, trying to quit. So I'm trying to get back out, I shouldn't be smoking while I'm out. You may have seen the older Dragon on one or two of my videos before. So that's where I am now. Um, I'm going to keep going that way. I'm just going to have this fag. Um, finish, finish my tea. Um, and then I'll be off. It's tea out of a flask, so I thought it might have shown you again. Okay. Bring it back in a bit. So yeah, while I'm out, I just thought I'd uh, get some of these. Um, I know cyclists use them. Um, so I've got the Tropical ISO Energy for focus. Which it won't. And Salted Caramel. Um, brilliant source of energy gels. Um, you just tear the tops and drink straight out of them. Um, they can be a bit sickly from what I remember, but these seem to be quite a favourite at the moment um, for guys that are cycling and running. Um, so I thought I'd give these a go. And I've just got them in my little side pocket pockets of my bag. Um, so they're easy to get to. Um, but yeah, we're going to carry on going down that way, which is, as you can see, down there, there. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully we'll uh, get to a nice little spot soon. Um, I think it's 
Normally averages about three and a half miles, four miles. Um, we're just coming up to the third mile now. So hopefully uh, we can have a nice fresh cup of tea rather than the one that I had in my little cup flask. Um, I already made it at home, it's just a travel mug thing. Um, but it's gone now, so yeah, we'll see how things go. Well, I'm at the big hill now, uh, down there, and then it goes up around the corner, up, 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 and it goes all the way around the side of this golf course that you can just about see through these bushes here. Might be able to get you a better view, there you go. So yeah, so the sun's come out now, it's starting to get a bit hot as well. So, uh, might have to take me out off. Starting to perspirate a bit. So, there's quite a few dog walkers out considering it's been raining all morning. I didn't think there would be. But, um, yeah. We're just over the three mile marker now, so we're not that far from camp, I don't think. It's just sort of like up the hill um, and around over the top of the hill and then just as it starts to peak on the top of the hill we we do a left and there's a little spot there that I sometimes use which is probably what I'm going to use today um, hopefully there's some wood still there that I've left from last time um, should be seasoned um, it was sort of under a bit of shelter but the amount of rain we've had just last night and today uh, this morning it might be a bit wet so um, but I've got the train gear with me anyway, so we'll see how things go. Wow. Well. I just like to say, I'm at the top of the hill. Um, I just stopped to have one of them isotonic tropical uh, energy gel fuels. Um, yeah, right picked me up. Um, had it, I'm not sure, maybe four minutes ago, five minutes ago. Already feel the energy levels picking back up. So uh, I've still got to. Uh, try to sort of caramel and then I've still got one more of each in the other hip pocket of my bag so but um, yeah it's just giving me a, a boost after climbing that hill quite surprised actually how quickly it's uh, how quickly it's taken effect um, like I say they're a little bit glutinous I suppose um, they are literally like a, a gel I mean when you squeeze it out it looks like a shampoo when you get shampoo out sort of thing but um, yeah seems to do the job so uh, here's the view golf course got some people down there playing golf today so, some uh, lovely big birds flying around as well out in the open. I don't know if you'll be able to see any of them. Just up here, just up here somewhere. There's one circling. He's there somewhere. It's quite high up. I don't think my phone will pick it up, but there seems to be two or three of them flying around. So. But uh, we're not that much further now from camp, so I'll bring you back once we're there. Well, there's my little wood pile. 
there was actually a little type of lean-to built over the top of this which completely vanished. Um, I can't see it anywhere around the vicinity. There's a, that's the gap where I normally hang the hammock just there in between these two trees. Chuck a tarp up. Only a lean-to tarp. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of leaf litter on the floor at the moment. So I'm just going to uh, clear some of that. This wood still seems actually pretty dry considering. Um, so we need some of the smaller stuff. There's plenty of dead standing, hanging just here in the tree, just here. Um, so I can snap some of that off um, to get it going and then use some of this dry, slightly damp stuff. Um, it's, it's sort of like maybe a foot high off of the floor, so the higher bits should be all right. The sun's really trying to come out now, as you can see in the trees. Twinkling through. You can hear the crows having a go at something over in the distance as well. Another bird coming into the territory, I think, I expect. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, sit down and uh, have a drink. Maybe do some sausages, maybe some noodles and sausages, or maybe even a soup or something. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Um, I've got the cum couple of just two Cumberland sausages so they're fresh so I may as well use them up I suppose um, so I'll probably do some noodles um, but I'm just trying to uh, decide whether I want to do them on the Trangi or not so as um, I've showed you guys this before just uh, some uh, Woodpecker owls in the old tree there. So I'm pretty dead now. Goes up quite a long way. So it's alive at the top, but it seems like it's all dead to look at. Um, but there's plenty of green growth at the top. Seems to wobble about quite a bit as well. So just in case I'm not going to hang around. I don't know if I've showed you this before, but there's some old, I don't know if it's an old golf cart or some, some kind. You can tell this isn't the reserve because this would have been cleared away. There's some um, frame and everything's all there. And then this is obviously the engine. What's left of a wheel and a tyre. So, not sure exactly what it was, but um, yeah, not good. But uh, we're going to carry on down here for a little bit before we um, come back to this camp. But um, I just showed you a bit of wood pile, it's just to uh, see if we can find somewhere else. So uh, I'm just going to keep on coming. Um, still, the wind's quite gusty today, it's not constant, like, luckily. Um, but uh, the sun seems to come out and it seems to be staying out now. Seems to be quite a bit of blue sky. So, hopefully it's going to turn out to be a nice day considering it, the uh, weather app says that it's overcast all day with showers. So, but we all know how the British weather is. It says one thing and it does the complete opposite. So, we keep our fingers crossed for the way it looks at the moment. Okay, alright guys, I'll bring you back in a bit if I find anything. Love it, so peaceful. Some birds chirping away. Wind rustling through the tops of the trees with the gusts it's giving. But yet down there, not even feeling the breeze down here. 